In this video, I'm going to show you how to create histograms using Desmos. So here we have our steps for creating histograms in Desmos. We're going to begin by going to desmos.com slash calculator. And in line one, you're going to type A equals and you're going to use brackets. And inside of those brackets, you're going to type your data set and you're going to be sure to separate your data set with commas. In line two, you're going to type histogram, parentheses A, comma, and then you're going to do your desired bin width. So that's how big you want the bars of your histogram to be. The desired bin width will depend on your data set. In step four, you want to change your bin alignment. You always want to align left every time. We don't want to align center. We want to align left. So let's look at example one. It says create a histogram in Desmos for the data set below. Use a bin width of 10. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and open up Desmos right here. There we are. And so in Desmos, I'm going to do a list for A. So I'm going to do A equals, and again, you always want to use your brackets for your list. And let's see, I have 60, 62, 65, 65, 68, 60, 64, 63, 63, 1, 2, 3, 70s. This should be a comma here. 71, whoops, comma there, 71, 74, 78, 79, 77, 75, 76, 1, 2, 3, 80s. One, two, three, eighty ones. One eighty two. There should be a comma here. Two eighty threes. Eighty four. Eighty five. Eighty eight. 90, 95, and 99. So here is my list. And you want to create a histogram. So in line two, I am going to type histogram. I'm going to open parentheses. I want to do a histogram of list A, and then they told us to do a bin width of 10. So I'm going to do comma 10 to tell Desmos that I want my bins to be 10 data points wide. And remember, we want to change our bin alignment to left. And if you can't see your bar graph, hit the little magnifying glass, and there you go. So here is my histogram aligned left with 10, um, with my bin width of 10. So this is what that histogram will look like. If we look at example two, it says create a histogram and a frequency table for the data. And then we have a frequency table there. So let's go ahead and do the frequency table first. So our interval is between zero and four. So to between zero and four, I have one data value. Between five and nine, I have, let's see. I don't wanna cross that out because I wanna be able to see it later. So between five and nine, I have one, two. Between 10 and 14, I have, let's see, one, two. And between 15 and 19, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's go ahead 
and type that into our list here. So my list A will have the numbers 3, 8, 9, 11, 12, 16, 17, 18, 18, 19, looks like four 19s. So, so one, two, three, four. And I should have 13 elements, and I do, so that is good. So then in line two, I'm going to type histogram. And we want to find the histogram of A. And they tell us our intervals. So when we look at our intervals here, how big is that bid? So how, do, how many numbers are between 0 and 4? Well, let's count. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. There's five numbers there. How about between 5 and 9? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's five numbers there. Between 10 and 14, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, that's five numbers. And then 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, that's five numbers. So our bin width is five. Remember, you always want to change your bin alignment to left. And so here is my histogram. And then they asked me to find my mean. So I can find my mean, I just type it in. So mean. And I want to find the mean of list A. And we get 14.46. And then they want me to find the median. Well, you could type in your stats here, or you could just type in median, and it will calculate it for you. So our median of list A is 17. So is our mean more or less than our median. Our mean is less than our median. That means the mean is being pulled towards the tail. This is an example of a histogram that is skewed left. Now it's skewed left because if you look over here at your histogram, if you were to draw your dinosaur, your dinosaur's tail would be on the left side. Your left side over here is where your negative numbers live. So this is also an example that could be say, um, that we could say it is negatively skewed because your tail is where the negative numbers are. Let's try this process again for example three. So on example three, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight numbers between zero and four. We have one, two numbers between five and nine. We have one, two numbers between 10 and 14. And we have one number between five and 19. So over here, I'm gonna go ahead and type in my list A. So A equals, gonna use my brackets. Let me fix this one that looks a little weird. There we go. And so those numbers were 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 6, 8, 11, 12, and 16. So I have my 13 element list and we want to make our histogram. We're going to find our histogram of list A. And again, our intervals are all five numbers wide. So that means that our bin width is five. And so we want to set, uh, we want to change our bin alignment to left. And I'm just going to zoom in on that. And next they want to know the mean. So I'm going to type in mean of list, oops, of list A, and I get 5.38. My median, so if I type in median, I'm 
of list A is 3. So in this case, is our mean more or less than our median? Our mean is more than our median because 5.38 is greater than 3. This means that the mean is being pulled towards the tail. This is an example of a histogram that is skewed right. So if you look at your histogram over here, your tail would be on the right side. So if we were to draw our dinosaur, our tail would be on the right side. That's where our positive numbers live. So we could say that this is positively skewed. 